All right. Well, the Wall Street Journal warning that the Democrats' bill will unleash the IRS on the middle class. Wall Street Journal editorial board member Bill McGurn joins us now. It's always great to see you, Bill. And I want to just read the first line from uh, the editorial board's uh, opinion piece today about this. It's entitled, The IRS is about to go beast mode. Progressives want Joe Biden to unleash what they call beast mode executive power. And the Schumer Mansion tax bill supplies the cash to turn the Internal Revenue Service into Wolverine. We are talking about $80 billion of new funding here. That's more than six times the current annual IRS budget, which is now $12.6 billion. And essentially half of these audits are going to target the middle class. Tell us more. Yeah, of course. Look, uh, in context, we're an economy now that has high inflation and uh, slow growth. Now, whether you call it a recession or not, the trick is to tame inflation without killing off the economy. The last thing you want to do is increase inflation by spending dollars you don't have and throwing it on top of the pile. And then the IRS provision is particularly noxious because it shows these tax rich schemes are never about taxing the rich. Right. They need that extra money to go after the middle class because there's not enough money at the top to pay for everything they want. So uh, it's really extraordinary. I don't know about the Republicans, but I know there's very little in it that I like. And we're asked to believe all these incredible assumptions, you know, that it's going to get so much more in revenue. Uh, if passed as any predictor, it's not going to give the revenue we want. And they admit that it doesn't even pay for itself. In the first five years, uh, we're going to have excess spending. Yeah. And let's talk about how this actually plays out, right? Because President Biden on the campaign trail, when he talked about taxes and IRS audits, he wants the rich, or that's what he said, he wanted the rich to pay their fair share. And, and now when we get down to the nuts and bolts of it, we find out, as you said, that you really have to go after the middle class and, and poor people in this country um, to raise this kind of revenue. And, and that's what they're willing to do at any cost. Um, when it comes to auditing the rich, Bill, actually, it's the rich people who have the money to spend on attorneys to fight these kinds of audits. It's the middle class people, the mom and pop small businesses that get really scared when they get that letter in the mail and, right. you know, they just have to kind of, you know, they're at the mercy of the IRS. What are they going to do? Look, a couple of years ago in my town in New Jersey, there's a deli, a family owned deli. It's been around about 100 years. And I talked to the owner one day when he's making me a sandwich and he pointed to all these permits after a full day, which is like 12 to 14 hours for him. He has to go home and do all the tax forms and stuff. It's a huge hassle for yeah. people. It discourages business. And uh, look, there are two mentalities with taxes. One is to cheat at uh, treat everyone like their closet tax cheat and say, we're going to go out after you with all our coercive powers. The other thing is to have low rates where people by and large say that's reasonable and they pay the taxes. I would prefer uh, that system to what we have. Yeah. And I think now, you know, Joe Biden made this promise about 400,000. Well, if we have inflation around 10 percent, that's a 10 percent tax on everyone. Right. Hidden and tax. the people at the bottom feel that the most. I don't think they're going to benefit from this. I agree with you, Bill. Um, just while I have you and before I let you go, I want to talk about Democratic Senator Joe Manchin. He shut down when he was asked about supporting President Biden in 2024. He's not the only one in his party who has done this. Listen. Well, you're, you're a I'm not going to talk about. You're a I'm Democratic not senator. About it. I'm just, I'm just asking I'm you whether you would support your it. own, the leader of your own I'm party. <laughs> Bill, your reaction to that? Nobody wants to uh, go on the record with this. Well, nobody wants to talk about it. They can't talk about it. Um, they're saddled with a president whose perception is weakness. And uh, I think they all recognize that there's going to be someone else on the ballot, but they don't want to bring down the White House on their heads right. by being publicly disloyal. Um, you know, it's no secret. Joe looks feeble. He looks more feeble today than he did on Inauguration Day. So um, this is to be expected. Fair enough. Bill McGurn, great to see you. Thank you for joining us today. Always a pleasure. Thanks, Jackie.